Elaine Tom Sahara dominates with season's best. Shakari Richardson, second. Sharika Jackson, same time, third place. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when uh, the next video drops, which is about once a day every day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And uh, finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we break down the races and then we take a look at your comments. So stay to the end. You just might hear from yourself. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. As expected and anticipated, Elaine Tom Sahara won in Eugene, Oregon, Oregon moments ago over the women's 100 meters in a display of sprint mastery, although she got a rather average start. She was able to separate herself from the field by the 70th meter, winning by a clear meter and a half and running a season's best of, of 10.79. Elaine Thompson was absolutely dominant. In the end, in Eugene, it was Elaine Thompson Hera who took it with a time of 10.79. And Richardson, Shakar Richardson of the United States, surprised many, I suspect, running second with a time of 10.92. Sharika Jackson also running the same time, 10.92, to take third position. Dina Asher Smith of Great Britain landed fourth in a time of 10.98, with T.T. Terry of the United States taking fifth in a time of 10.98. Nine eight, um, Marie Jose Talu ran sixth with eleven point zero seven. Munjinga Kambunji ran seventh with a time of eleven point one one. Tiana Daniels of United States came eighth with a time of eleven point one three, and Jamaica's very own Brianna Williams came ninth with a time of eleven point two zero seconds. Well, there were a few surprises, certainly for us here at Peter Lloyd World. We anticipated that Elaine Thompson-Hera would have won and run comfortably. But honestly, we did not think Shakara Richardson would place in the top three. She surprised us and ran a solid race, I must concede. Uh, Sharika Jackson just needs to get a better start and she will be winning these races. Dina Asher-Smith, we did. We did not think she would have factored in the top three, but she ran a solid race and uh, in fact, she was out ahead of the pack for the first 30 to 40 meters and then faded, uh, but did run in that fourth position as we um, stated. Now, let's take a quick look back at the race uh, last year's spectacular uh, Prefontaine 100 meters. Now, although complaining of that shoulder injury, it was evident to us that, that uh, Elaine Thompson-Hera would have won. Her runs have all been spectacular. The last time we saw her was at the National Stadium just last weekend, where in the heats she ran 11.35, almost jogging, and came back in the finals to run that very easy 10.94. Tom Sahara has been running consistent sub-11 times uh, when we saw at the Puerto Rico Classic uh, 2022. She won in a time of 10.93. And then, of course, there was her previous season's best of 10.89, which she did at Mount Sac Relays. As I stated earlier, I was surprised by Shakara Richardson's second place run here of 
0.92 and I'm a grown man I'm big enough to concede when I was wrong and I was clearly wrong in this instance Shakira Richardson did look solid in this race of course the last time we saw her before this was a very recently where she ran that 11.27 Sharika Jackson posted, as I stated, the same time of 10.92 as uh, Shakari Richardson, but was given the third place. She simply needs to work on her starts, which I think I'm very certain that Coach Stephen Francis will be uh, working on with her. Of course, the last time we saw her was when she ran at 11.12 at the Mueller Diamond League, coming second to Dina Asher-Smith. So here's the thing, uh, Elaine thompson Hera is injured. She has a shoulder injury, which I told you I've had. It's a horrific injury. And unless she's playing possum, and I don't think she is, she's in spectacular form. Uh, to have this shoulder injury, to travel to Eugene, Oregon, and to run uh, season's best of 10.79, and still looked at if she had some, something in the tank, because the weather conditions were not necessarily spectacular. Um, I still need to try and get the wind reading. The wind reading was actually uh, plus 0 0.7. So as I stated, if she's running like this with an injured shoulder, once she heals up completely, I'm not sure who can beat her. I mean, obviously the only person that comes to mind is Shelly and Fraser Price. I mean, clearly these two women are running in a whole different place by themselves. You know, they're literally like, like, like superheroes. <laughs> at a whole different level i mean i'm not joking please try and understand uh kings and queens if you have a shoulder injury and you're running 10.79 under these conditions and looking as easy as she did i mean i'm not saying she didn't make an effort she certainly did but she still looked comfortable and there was still clearly a lot more in the tank uh we're in for a heck of a world championships i'm not joking and um i just saw uh shelly and fraser price in the 200 and let me tell you some people I, I don't know <laughs> really and truly this world championship is between these two ladies really no one else is actually factoring in this um you know maybe shakari richardson since she just ran that 10.92 and she actually looks solid and maybe a sharika jackson but those are the only other two persons i can think of at this point um elaine tom sahara looked remarkable uh, season's best 10.79 and she's going to run much faster people because I'm going to say this again it's early in the season there is still what six weeks to world championships and believe me a whole lot of improvements is going to happen in that six weeks so uh, let's take a look at your comments this is from our community board where we asked the times expected to win uh, pimp the pimp the 478 came closest he said Elaine what time it's hard to say my best guess is around 10.75 uh to 10.65 that's a pretty solid guess my brother vanity williams said elaine 10.7 seconds really good sherika jackson 10.9 dina arkambunji 11 point 11 seconds well you were pretty on the money about elaine and sharika the times uh sharika ran 10.92 and elaine ran 10.79 you were really on the money van vanity williams and finally, we hear from King uh, Kevin TV, who said Elaine Thompson will win with a time of 10.76. Also very, very close. Uh, well, there you have it. Elaine Thompson here dominates once again in Eugene, Oregon, running a uh, season's best of 10.79 ahead, ahead of a renewed Shakari Richardson. Uh, we have to give her a prop to run 10. 0.92 to take second with uh, Sharika Jackson running 10.92 to take third. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Go in and hit the notification bell. Hit the like button if you enjoy the content and please leave your comments. You are kings and queens. Bless up!